We often say as far as uh, food production, we need uh, it to be sustainable, not only looking at the natural resources, but also to close that efficiency gap. So between what I'm producing and what I'm getting out to the market or to in the food chain, there is a loss. And that loss is getting bigger because of waste, because of diseases. So in the case of diseases, if I have uh, less medicines to treat these animals or plants, or uh, therefore my gap has increased. So from a food security point of view, having the right medicines uh, in place is very, very important to be sure that we don't have that gap growing, but we have more efficient production, healthier production, including human well-being and animal welfare. Resistance may mean that the next time that you go to your shelf or your clinic or your hospital, the antibiotics or other antimicrobials that may be uh, provided to you as a patient or to you as a professional, veterinarian, physician, whatever, will not work. So those, uh, those drugs uh, are no longer effective. And what we have seen is that there has been very little investment into research or new drugs that would be available to halt, control, manage some of these infections. So our concern is that all the gains that we have made in the 20th and 21st century in medicine, we may lose them. What will happen at the UN General Assembly on September 21st will be a, a meeting between the membership of the United Nations for a declaration, a political commitment to tackle antimicrobial resistance. So this is something that uh, the World Health Organization, the World Organization for Animal Health, and the Food and Agriculture Organization ourselves have uh, been behind the scenes promoting from a, very, from a technical perspective. But this goes beyond the, uh, the medical or a veterinary or food and agriculture realm. It needs the political will, the planning, the finances to really to ensure that uh, our medicines will work in the future. The FAO Action Plan focuses on four different areas. One is uh, awareness, uh, not only for the farming community, but also for families on how to use these medicines. Uh, a second area is to look uh, at how they're being used, these medicines, these antimicrobials, the surveillance, hunting for where is antimicrobial resistance appearing. Uh, uh, and a third way is, uh, a third focus area is best practices, the improving of prevention measures, a better hygiene in food and, and, food and agriculture production. Encompassing all these three is having the good governance mechanisms, good governance among ministries, ministries of health, agriculture, livestock, uh, planning, commerce, uh, good governance at the hospital, good governance at the veterinary clinic. So governance brings in the whole package.